Dell Technologies has a great solution, uh, a set of solutions actually around uh, data protection, and in particular their cyber recovery solution is market leading. And this is just um, an idea from a from a component point of view as to, you know, what what does that look like? So if I just walk you through this, and on on the next chart I'll take you through some of the uh, some of the more detail. But really, it's about understanding how we're going to protect their their production environment. And you'll notice that backup is already on there as a line item. And this is because when we create a cyber recovery vault for a client, it's taking, as I said, the 10 to 15 percent of most valuable data out of that data, uh, out of that backup and putting it in a very secure vault. So it's a, it, it's a part of the infrastructure that's behind the traditional backup. Of course, there's all the other data sources that we care about. And you'll see that the ability to to pretty much uh, recover from any major data source um, is available here. So it's not a proprietary limited solution that you can only apply to a small part of your business. The crucial part of this overall design is, is, what, is what we call an air gap. Um, an air gap is simply that once the data has transferred from the, in this case, the backup system to the vault, that the line is is cut so that the the network that's transferring that data severs not not literally but virtually severs and therefore no data can transfer in or out of that vault in a way it's it's a bit like uh, the old days when clients used tape systems for an offline version and in fact just on that point tape does have a relevancy today but really only in very large data sets where you know the speed of recovery um, is 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 uh, is not a, a major issue, um, but mostly something like an online data vault, uh, cyber recovery vault, which is disk based, is is much is much better to recover from uh, cyber attacks quickly. So once the the air gap is opened, uh, and the data is transferred, and again just to reiterate, it's not all the data; it's the 10 or 15 percent that matters to the business. Then it goes into this uh, this cyber recovery vault, and here it's protected. OK, so you'll see that no one can access that data vault without privileges. The IP addresses that transfer from here don't follow through to here. So there is no direct line into this vault once the data is in there. And really, uh, this vault also has the ability and the software wrap that, that Dell Technologies bring to this vault helps us understand and start screening the software that's in the vault to make sure that data in there isn't already breached, isn't already corrupted. OK, because if you've got data in there that's already happened and this is where we talk about zero day attacks where, you know, perhaps the um, the attack has been in the system for some time, but it's just not known to the business. And in fact, so there might be corrupted copies within the within the, the organization that the organization is not yet aware of. So there's a really sophisticated software, AI, cognitive software that helps scan that vault and the data within the vault to make sure that it's, it's good. It's a good copy. Uh, and then if we needed to recover from it, it's, uh, it's going to enable the business to, um, to commence. And as it says here, there are a very limited amount of people that can access that vault. Uh, and that's deliberate, clearly, so that, um, so that it's not open to everyone to, to get in there and, and make changes. The other thing is it, it is impossible to make changes to the data that resides in that system. So the copy of the data that sits in there is untouched in that respect. So Dell have introduced this uh, concept of a, um, of a landing zone and then a clean room. And this, this is really vital to this whole process because what's the point of having data that's clean and free from corruption in your vault if you can't then use it to recover your business? And, and so what this does is it, it, once it's worked out what the good copy is, it moves that data into a landing space. A landing space, an area whereby in the event of an attack and a known uh, point at which the attacks happened, you can start bringing that data back into what they call a clean room, which has been sanitized, and then make it available back to the uh, users to start running, carry on running the business. Again, through an air gap um, process so that you can't get people coming in through this route and, and corrupting the data. You know, what's the process you go through to implement something like this? It is about the planning. We've talked about the planning already, and that's where CSI can really help our clients work on what do we need to protect and how do we do it. Um, we move into the, recovery, the uh, cyber recovery vault, which is the isolation part, and then we lock it down. As I said, no one can touch it, no one can gain access to it. We know it's a good copy. 
Then we do the analytics on it to make sure that nothing else is happening in that environment whilst it's in there. That's constant. And then we move it into the landing zone. And only when we get to the uh, point where we need to recover from a, an attack do we put it into the clean room and then start, start our business again. And as you can see, resume uh, business as usual.